go back at the cyanogen settings and let's go to the uh, lock screen now let's go to style options now if you see my lock screen it's the round one but it also comes with the default one that was just across like you have to do this way or there's one where you can swipe down I'm gonna unlock that and those are your choices right there sliding tab, rotary, rotary revamped and the lens now what's nice about this is it lets you so let's say, like I do a lot of texting, I'm sure you do a lot of texting too. What's nice about this is if you set, you can set a custom app. So let's say, I don't know, you play a game a lot or you do some app the most. Instead of having to unlock it and then go to the app, what this enables you to do is you just press down and you can set it to whatever you want to. I have mine set to compose a text message automatically. So as you saw, I just pressed down and it automatically took me to a text message. But you can set that app to whatever you want to. Um, I just checked the message icon just because that was an option. Otherwise, if you uncheck it, it will just have the little Android skateboard dude. So I checked that. And I used uh, Launcher Pro to enable me to be able to have text as my new text message. And the very last thing I will talk about in these settings is the uh oh well, I guess lock screen lock screen gestures let me go over that um I don't like the trail of the show so what gestures they enable you to do are when you lock your phone let's say and maybe you don't maybe you use two more apps a lot instead of just this one so you don't want to only use this if you make a letter or something with your hand or a symbol with your hand it'll automatically unlock so I'll do one right now so let's say I want to build a gesture add a gesture I want to pick an activity it's going to ask me which activity do I want to pick I want to say applications well right now it's building up the list of all the apps that I have so it's taking a little bit of time but I use my camera fairly often so what I'm going to do is make a C uh, and hit done. So now I know that I would like to see. So now turn your screen off, turn it back on, make a C, and it should unlock to the camera. Bam. So that's a nice quick way. You can do that for any app you want to, any symbol you want to that you can think of. Just don't forget them. And if you want to show the trail there, like mine, you didn't see my trail when I made a C, but if you want to set, be able to see it, you just check that check mark. And, okay, now for the last thing, for real this time, is the sound. Now, the first thing I'll say is the uh, notification focus. Normally, let's say you're listening to music, and you get a text alert, or some alert comes on your phone. Your audio from your music will dim and your notification audio will be the one that's in the foreground. Well, I don't like that because I listen to my hero in the shower and I don't like to hear the beep when I'm listening to music. So what you can do is uncheck this notification focus and it will not lower your music volume while you're listening to, uh, while you have a text message or anything come in, it'll just stay the same music volume. And the second one is nice, it's quiet hours. So let's say you go to bed at 10 o'clock, between 10 hours of 10 and 6, you don't want to be able to hear alerts. You will still be able to see the alert appear by the notification light, but if you hit the quiet hours, it will, um, you can hit your start and your stop. Your phone won't make any sounds between the hours that you set it, which is nice. And you can also disable the uh, notification light if you don't want it. It'll say dim. And one of the most cool features, I think, is tablet tweaks. If you want to move your notification bar from the top to the bottom, all you got to do is hit bottom status bar. And now it's at the bottom, which is kind of nice because you can just swipe up and swipe down. But the only thing that I think is bad about having it at the bottom is uh, 
just this is not a tablet to phone. It's not really built to have it at the bottom because it gets in the way sometimes. I'll show you. Like if I want to type a message into Handsent and I do the options, I can't read the bottom of these. Granted, I know what they are due to pictures. This is voice. Um, go to all my to the batch or cancel this message. But you can't see anything because the status bar is in the way. But those are the things for the hero. And not just for the hero, but also Cyanogen in general. If you've got any questions, like I said, I always say leave a comment. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, email me, wisemanwhite. Got any questions? Just let me know. Techtemple.com. Peace.